finally come to the third generation of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold series, the Z Fold 3. And all the minor changes come together to make this possibly the best folding phone on the market right now. Looks-wise, it hasn't changed that much from the previous generation. The main display still folds in on itself and you get the cover screen on the outside. The cover screen is the same size, although Samsung has now decided to use a dynamic AMOLED 2X display with a 120Hz refresh rate. So scrolling on the cover screen is just as smooth as on the main display. Samsung has managed to make the phone chassis ever so slightly smaller with a 9 gram decrease in weight despite the use of a new armor aluminum material in the metal frame and hinge that makes the Z Fold 3 10% stronger than the Z Fold 2. The protective film on the main display is also claimed to be 80% more durable. Although the phone still warns you during setup that pressing the screen with a hard or sharp object could cause scratches and other damage. You still can't remove the protective film, so don't go mistaking it for a screen protector and yanking it off. Another great addition is that there's now IPX8 water resistance, which means the phone can survive being submerged in water for up to 30 minutes. Unfortunately, there's no dust resistance, so you want to avoid bringing the phone to dusty or sandy areas where particles could possibly get in and cause damage. We have the hero color here, the Phantom Black which is absolutely gorgeous. The matte glass bag feels fantastic in the hand and overall, it feels incredibly sturdy with the metal frame. The phone is also longer and thinner than most other phones out there, so holding it in one hand and using the cover screen feels absolutely natural. There's very little difficulty to touch the far edge of the screen when using one hand to type, even if your hand is on the slightly smaller side. There are two screens on this phone, the 6.2-inch dynamic AMOLED 2X display with 120Hz refresh rate on the outside that we mentioned earlier, as well as the 7.6-inch dynamic AMOLED 2X main display also with 120Hz refresh rate. Watching shows on the main screen is an absolute joy. You're essentially getting a mini tablet and a phone all in one. The screen is also great for reading ebooks, articles on the web, and more. You might think the crease in the middle is super distracting, but honestly, if you're looking at the screen dead on and not from an angle, the crease sort of just fades away and you end up just not noticing it anymore after a while. Ooh, did you notice something interesting though? The camera on the inside is now hidden. Well, kind of. Instead of using the same punch hole camera as before, Samsung has gone with an under display camera that somewhat blends into the background. It's quite noticeable if you're staring at it, but if you're focusing on content on the screen, it does fade away somewhat, and it feels like there's no black camera hole, which is nice. It is Samsung's first implementation of this tech, so we'll definitely see improvements in the future. The Z Fold 3 comes with S Pen support, which is pretty much a confirmation that Samsung is looking to kill off the Note series moving forward. That being said, we do think that the larger display of the Z Fold 3 makes it a much more suitable device to use the S Pen on, as compared to the Note or S21 Ultra. While we didn't get a unit of the S Pen for this review, there are two versions. One is the S Pen Pro, which can be used with either compatible Galaxy devices and comes equipped with Bluetooth for Air actions. And the other is the S Pen Fold Edition, which only works with the Z Fold 3 and doesn't have Bluetooth. There's also a built-in fingerprint sensor on the side power button. It's responsive and unlocks very quickly. The Z Fold 3 is powered by a Snapdragon 888 5G processor, which supports 5G and an Adreno 660. On Geekbench, our unit scored a single core score of 1099 and a multi-core score of 3281, which is pretty close to the leaked scores of 1124 and 3350. As for 3D Mark, we ran two wildlife tests, one for the cover screen and one for the main display. The cover screen scored 5263 with an average FPS of 31.5, while the main display scored 4639 with an average FPS of 27.8. Definitely interesting results, and you might want to use the cover screen outside if you're planning on gaming with the Z Fold 3. The phone supports Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2, as well as 5G non-standalone, standalone, and Sub-6 or MM Wave. So if you're on a 5G mobile plan, you'll definitely be able to get super fast speeds when you're out and about. 
You get stereo speakers on the Z Fold 3 and they do get pretty loud. Although, do pay attention to how you're holding the phone when the main screen is unfolded, as the two speakers could be blocked by your hands. It's pretty easy to make sure you're not blocking the speakers. Just ensure that the rear camera bump is on the bottom half of the phone when using the phone unfolded and in landscape mode. As for cameras, you get a triple camera rear array with ultra-wide, wide-angle and telephoto lenses, all 12 megapixels. Photos taken with these cameras are pretty decent with plenty of detail, although you do get the typical Samsung post-processing, which does result in vibrant photos even though it can get a bit too saturated at times. There's also a 10 megapixel selfie camera on the cover display, and the under display camera we talked about earlier comes in at just 4 megapixels. And photo quality is quite poor, blurry, and lacking detail. If you want a good selfie, just use the 10 megapixel camera on the cover display. Samsung has also brought back the super convenient feature where you can turn on the cover display to let people you're taking photos of see how the photo is framed and such, which is nice. You can shoot up to 4K at 60 frames per second with the rear cameras, and there's a stabilization feature called Super Steady, although we found that this introduces quite a bit of noise into the video. It is pretty effective at getting a steady shot though, so perhaps it would be best to use it only in brightly lit conditions. You can also shoot in HDR10+, although it's a labs feature and you're limited to using it only when shooting in 4 to 5 or 1 to 1 aspect ratio and locked at 1080p, 30 frames per second. There's a 4400mAh battery inside, which is a slight decrease from the 4500mAh battery in the Z Fold 2. But rest assured, the Z Fold 3 lasts for an entire day, even when switching between both screens for watching videos, texting and more. There's 25W wired fast charging and 11W wireless fast charging, which works great for when you only have a bit of time to charge your phone before heading out. There's also reverse wireless charging, where you can charge compatible accessories like the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2, Watch 4, or even other phones that might support wireless charging. Speaking of the Galaxy Buds 2, if you're interested in hearing our thoughts on them, we'll leave the link to that review in the card above as well as in the description. The Z Fold 3 has two storage options, 256 gigs or 512 gigs of internal storage, and both models come with 12 gigs of RAM. As for pricing though, that's where things get interesting. The Z Fold 3 starts at 1,799 US dollars or 2,398 Sing dollars, which is actually cheaper than the Z Fold 2's retail price of 1,999 US dollars or 2,588 Sing dollars. Of course, it's still not considered affordable by any stretch of the imagination, but it does indicate that folding phones will most likely start getting cheaper as the years go by. Once it hits a more affordable price point, we might start to see foldables really pick up and gain market share. So, is this phone worth the price? It really depends on what you want the phone for. If you need a phone-tablet combo, then this could really be right up your alley. If you watch a lot of movies and shows on your phone or browse the web a lot, the larger screen is a game changer. If you want the newest and latest for bragging rights, well, this is definitely the one to go for. But if you're not a fan of babying your phone, you definitely won't enjoy the fragile main display or the exorbitant price. So, if you're dead set on getting a folding phone but want one that's more affordable, the Z Flip 3 might be a better choice, and you can check out our review of that here. Anyway, those are our thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. See you guys next time!